When we were kids, I think we spent a lot of time wondering about who we were going to be and what we were going to do when we grew up. And no matter where we went, the question always seemed to follow us, or at least it was somewhere in the back of our minds. And as we grew older, the question also grew up alongside us and became more and more of a reality that we knew we had to someday figure out. So, faced with this existential question, I decided to fly across the country to ask my friend Zach, as well as some strangers, for some advice. Alright, welcome. Um, today I'm hanging out with a friend of mine, Zach Levitt, who you guys may or may not know. However, this friendship, this goes back like way from when I was living in France. I used to watch his videos and I was just like, this dude is awesome. What he's doing is just like super inspiring. And, and so yeah, eventually like we got in contact, like we started talking and like we became friends and somehow this came together that I flew across the country and he's been living out here in his van and we're like, yeah, let's meet up and hang out. Today, we're gonna be going around San Francisco. We literally have like nothing planned except for like, we're going to breakfast in a few minutes to get some coffee, energy, and food, because we're absolutely starving. <laughs> um, and then we're kind of gonna explore, I guess, the topic of me going to college. Um, since I'm a junior right now, I'm kind of like exploring that path, but I also have like YouTube. So that's kind of like what this video is going to be about. If you're interested in that, stay tuned and watch our adventure throughout the beautiful California, San Francisco. Right here in the Golden State, out in California with my good friend Zach Levitt. How's it going? Who is like a running YouTuber and he went to College of William and Mary. Yes. And then decided to drop out. Yes. Uh, build out a van Precisely. and renovate it. So he lives in a van now. He films videos in California or like wherever he wants to be. I'm gonna be kind of like discussing not going to college. He dropped out and now is literally just doing what he wants, filming videos. Yeah. Talking about the freedom that he has with that. And Max is considering both crazy perspectives. Yeah. Because they're both really interesting opportunities. Yeah. College, not college, YouTube, school. Pros and cons of yeah. both sides. And I just went on some college tours yesterday and the day before. And yeah, there's just like two different paths I could take. I'm kind of approaching that point in my life. All right, Narrator Max back at it. So the wind actually got pretty bad for a while, 26 miles an hour in fact. So we decided to go try to find some electric bikes and search for a cool place where we could film without all that wind. Are we even allowed to bike? I feel like we shouldn't be doing this but I really want to. We're, we're mountain biking on lift bikes. I guess we're just gonna go with it. That's today's kind of attitude. We've come we to... Yeah, we're kind of in a road path. <laughs> we have stairs. Lots of them. And really heavy bikes, or we have a path going down. So we're probably going to go up. It's recording. All you have to do is point it at us. Okay. <laughs> this will just be... Okay, you ready, Max? All right, okay. Go. okay. There you go. Teamwork. This is actually Teamwork. working pretty well. <laughs> okay. Where are you guys from? I'm from North Carolina. Oh, wow. I uh, live out here, kind of. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> They're helping each other. Would you like to Teamwork. Here, well, let's get over this way. Yeah. Oh, oh, here. Scoot over, Gita, because they might... They're heading down quick. Yeah. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, if you would have got kept going the other way, yeah. you really would have hit a lot of stuff. Really? Oh, All right, so Zach, kind of like give us a rundown on your story, your whole experience with high school, running, kind of going to college, YouTube. Yeah, so I ran in high school and I happened to be pretty good at it. And so I went to college for running at the College of William and Mary. And I was like super stoked to go to college. And I was like, what if I like started recording my life and making videos about it? And so I just like started to make videos. The thing is that I didn't expect it to blow up or take off or anything like that. But like, it's quickly started to gain traction and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is starting to take me places. I started to realize like, I'm getting value in the real world from this and the school is not giving me like real world value. Like I have to wait four years to get any sort of like redemption from all this work. And I kind of was like, this is rewarding me now and I was just so caught up in making videos and I started to realize like, I don't know if school is what I want to do. And I like started to have all these thoughts. Eventually, like when summer came around, I realized and like took some time to myself to just think about like what I wanted with my life. And I was like, what would I do in three years? If I went to school for three more years, what would happen? Like, and I realized I would just be making videos after college. Like this is what I want to do. So I was like, why would I wait three years to do this? And so I, I, I dropped out of college. I bought a van and I built it out, turned it into my home and have been traveling the United States since then. And it's been like so rewarding and fulfilling and like it was so scary to drop out of school because like everybody's in school. Everybody's doing this like thing that's so normal and so like, it's not that everybody goes to college but so many of my friends and from where I'm from go to college and it was so scary to not. At times I feel like I'm missing out. But then I realized I'm doing something so different from what everyone else is. I'm getting really cool connections with people and Nike's taking me places and like like people are flying me out and like it, it's starting to like escalate and get so crazy. And something that I would have never expected but something that I'm like even just hanging out with Max here in like San Francisco like this is like one of those things where like if I was in college I wouldn't be here. Yeah. And it's so cool because yeah. we just get to hang out in San Francisco and like have fun all day. Which is like a dream. And so it's taking me on a wild journey through the United States and through life. I think I think I'm I've gotten so good at video editing. Like I think it's become a skill that I'm so good at that if everything else fails, I have made so many connections with filmmakers that I could like go into that filmmaking or like I made a lot of connections with people that work at Nike that are like pretty high up. One of those type things where it's like I feel like I've made such strong connections that I know people that could help me if I get into a really dire situation where I'm like Oh my gosh, like I'm kind of screwed. Having no college degree probably affects that a little bit, but also filmmaking, you don't really need yeah. anything to do it. Like, it's experience. It's experience. Like the idea of like not going to college and not having that kind of like safety plan that everyone thinks is like so essential. Yeah. You think like, oh, like if all goes to hell, like you're screwed, like you have nothing. Like, yeah, like what do you do for a job? But, like when you kind of realize that like the job market is evolving, like, yeah, and the thing is like what you're taking from all the experiences traveling living on your own video editing meeting cool people like yeah. doing things in the world like For a job like you have so many more skills that like you just can't get at a college. Yeah, that um Even like safer than college. No to like, some degree like I've hung out with a lot of people that are right out of college yeah. because that's just the age group that is out of college and like are around and most of them are doing things like a, that aren't like that great. Like just like working like a minimum wage job, which mm -hmm. for going to college kind of sucks. Yeah. Like even my sister is like, she's struggled to find a job that she really likes with her degree and stuff and that like align with her values. And so it's like, it's not easy even having a degree. So if you have something going already and you can pursue that, then you're like on a head start, like all my friends that are getting out of college are like, 
I don't know what I'm gonna do next year. And they're like struggling to find a job. Yeah. And I'm just like, I like is just so crappy because you spent four years preparing to like have this thing that's gonna allow you to be like super successful. And you just like can't even utilize it. Like you can't even find a job mm. to. And like it becomes this cool like real world college where I'm like getting the connections, getting the friends, and then like learning a lot like all throughout it. But then like I'm not paying fifty thousand dollars a year to go to yeah. college, so it's like I'm getting paid to do it. So it's yeah. like it's like it's really cool. You never know how long you're gonna be able to just make like weird internet money. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And so it's like if this like works for a long time, and you're making good money. But then like it, it just fails. It's like worst case, like you could go back to school and do what everybody did four years ago, accumulate the debt or whatever, yeah. and then like work it off. Like in theory, like although it's not optimal, like like that could be a path that you take. Yeah. That's the thing is like formal education is always there. Yeah. Whereas like experiences like this at the age that you are, yeah, you can never go back and have that. And the thing is, these experiences that you're having this age are gonna change you like in so many fundamental ways. It'll set yeah. you up for your life that like college can't do for you. Exactly. But you can always go back to that. Yeah. Which I think is like a really interesting like marketing point from that perspective. So we've been walking for a little while and we're right by like Golden Gate Bridge, which is just so cool to be out here. <laughs> I think the last thing I'm that I'm kind of fascinated by or that I'm still wondering I bet you guys are too is like the contrast between what Zach's life was in college and what it's like now I think like in college it was I expected it to be like immense freedom I expected I like I felt like it was so romanticized before I went I was like oh I'm gonna be free like it's not gonna be like high school where I have like all these things and right as I got there I was like roped into so many things it's basically my day would just start and then end it felt like I was limited I was like restricted in every way and I just like couldn't be me and do the things that I wanted and then now it's like I literally can do whatever I want in this time period I've developed more as a human than in any other time period in my life I've met so many great friends so many great opportunities have arisen in college I felt like I was so stagnant because I may not be growing in like the school sense like I may not know everything about calculus too and be incredible at calculus too like I can tell you a lot about manufacturing shirts getting shirts printed and like basically the whole process of making merchandise which is pretty cool that I know about that now which is a little bit more practical than knowing everything about calculus too mm -hmm. and so it just feels like I'm like growing and developing at like a rapid rate and just like excelling as a human you yeah. know and you're still like having school but you're learning in a different way because it's yeah. all like hands-on like you're out in the world like yeah. everything's applicable because like that's how you're surviving you exactly know? And so I think like in summary, I went from a restricted life, which I thought would be the most free, to literally the most free life. And it's allowed me to pursue my passions, which is like awesome. the most amazing thing. Wow. And find new passions. Yeah. And, and then that's, that's where I'm at. And here we are today, we are able, today. able to have this freedom. in the life of an American public school video, you know I take first period architecture. And so like over the course of the last semester, we were working on like a project where we'd like build something and it would be made in real life. So I've been designing this thing for a while. It's kind of small, but you know, here it is. Um, I'm still kind of like shy about the whole thing. So I'm a little insecure about my design pr 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 process. Um, but this is my end of year project. Um, so if you think it's good, give a thumbs up on the video and it'll help get me extra credit in my class. So thank you. You know, you know, you know. Dance, dance. Part of my project. Dancing in San Francisco. right now and we're getting hungry we're so getting hungry. we need food <laughs> all right here we are one special dude look at that Full. <laughs> this looks amazing um, no big decision what's the white one I wonder I always feel like green or yellow is a good move we're gonna go with green to match the fit push Boom. thank you meal was really good. That was incredible. 
I have a lot more energy now. Got a little candy, and I think we're gonna go fly the drone. And then we're gonna ask some strangers what they think about going to college or pursuing YouTube. I think we're also gonna buy a lottery ticket because why not? It's February 29th. The today, only time in today the technically doesn't even exist. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Got some energy go. now. Let's go. <laughs> he dropped out of college to go all in on YouTube. Yeah. What do you guys think? Go to college or do you go in no. all in on YouTube? Yeah, um, I, I dropped out of high school myself, actually. I don't have a high school degree. Wow. Yeah, and uh, I'm a software engineer now. Wow. And, you know, I make plenty of money enough to survive in San Francisco. Uh, YouTube is a hobby. So, as long as you're passionate about something, have the drive, yeah. you can go out and do whatever you want. Yeah. You don't need a degree. No, dude. Not even a high school degree. You're like software engineer. <laughs> yeah. Where do you work? I work at Uber, actually. Oh, wow. It's like, go out there and, you know, work hard and you can do whatever you want to do. It doesn't, you don't need a piece of paper to tell you what you can do or not. Oh! Yeah. SB. Yeah. I graduated. Oh, I love this, and I only went there just because there's a beach and there's like college life. That's the only reason that I would go is for college life. Yeah. I, I wouldn't go back to, to school. Personally, really, yeah. I would just live in the college town. Mm. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hopefully, we see you. Yeah. Definitely subscribe. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen you. Good ride. I haven't seen you. Right. Um. So we're in the park, walking back to find the van. We could go on the roads, but we're gonna decide to like trailblaze through the park. Um. Because yeah, in life, you know, there's that path that everyone takes, but sometimes you gotta just try taking the other path. Kind of like what Robert Frost has told us to do. When the two paths diverge, take the one less travel on? Is it that? I don't know. But that kind of goes with the whole like essence and like vibe of this video is like, there's two paths, college, not college, what should I do? I don't know. Max, I actually have a question for you. You've been asking me all the questions today. And my question to you is, what is your current opinion on the situation? Like, how do you feel about going to college? Everybody wants to know, like, how you're feeling. That's an interesting question. Something I've been pondering definitely for like the last couple of weeks and months. Currently, where I'm at now, I feel like education is like really important and like something that not everyone is able to take full like advantage of. I feel like I have an opportunity and like the privilege to be able to go and like have higher education and to like really delve into a topic that like fascinates me. Something like psychology, I can go to college, learn about something that like really deeply fascinates me. If I go to college, which I'm kind of leaning towards now, I'd go to learn things that I'd use for my life. To enrich yourself. Yeah, exactly. Like, take it as an opportunity to, like, really learn about stuff. Like, literature, how to write, analyzing film, media, history, learning about the world. But it just worries me if I'll have time to still make videos, do things I'm passionate about, while still trying to run a business, have YouTube, travel. And I don't know if both are possible. Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at. Like, I feel like education is this cool opportunity, but the way it's structured right now seems very conflicting with what I want to do. Um, so I guess now I, I'm in the process of finding the place that matches something that'll work for me. But at the same time, like, I probably want to take a gap year after high school to experience what that would be like and see if that's for me and decide kind of then. I think you can't know unless you actually try it and experience it. I think gap year is like the perfect way what you think in the comments too. I'm curious to hear your thoughts, everyone's perspectives, experiences, if you've gone to college, chose not to go to college, and how that played out for you. If you have any advice, thoughts, I'm open to anything right now. Hey.